Okay friends, in this video tutorial we will be talking about electrospray ionization. So let us erase this part. Electrospray ionization and electrospray ionization obviously the name is suggesting that it is a, a part or type of ionization process. Now we have already discussed about ionization like hard ionization, soft ionization and electrospray ionization is a type of ionization in the source region we can find we can find maldi we have already talked about that we have also talked about electrospray ionization a little bit but i haven't found that video that much helpful so i'm making it a little bit more detail about this electrospray ionization in this video so esi or electrospray ionization electrospray ionization now in this case uh, the instrument or uh, the mass spec instrument simply this is the three chamber instrument very basic schematic presentation it is slightly modified slightly changed now in this case what we can see in electrospray ionization is that we are having a source obviously after the source region what we are having we are having uh, so let me draw here this is the source so here in the source region we will be having an electron gun so this is electron gun in the source so this is source region so this part let's say this is the analyzer region and in this region we will be have having detector okay so these are the three different segments now in this case electron gun is firing electron and normally what is happening in case of maldi simply uh, we are having uh, our matrix where laser beam it is hitting and uh, molecule of our interest are releasing but in case of electrospray ionization what we are producing we are producing uh, micro droplets micro droplet with our uh, molecules so let's say this is our desired molecule so let me draw this is a desired molecule say m is our molecule our desired molecule of interest now this m is uh, converted into a micro droplet how let's say this is the m and surrounding this m what we are producing we are producing different layer now this layer is made up with lipids normally or it can be made up with a, a other type of layers like uh, this is a hydrophobic type of layer it can also be made hydrophilic if i use uh, water and other liquid sources so other liquid components uh, we, we are coating our molecule like that right now after coating our molecule with our desired type of liquid substances what we do we simply push it into this analyzer right so we simply push it into the analyzer and remember in this case electron gun after obviously hitting the electron gun because here we are having the micro droplets so let's say here we are having mic micro droplets and in this micro droplets many cases uh, we can find electron gun and uh, uh, obviously many cases we uh, there shouldn't be any electron gun instead of electron gun there are uh, other ionization process like chemical ionization usually this ESI is uh, connected with this uh, quadruple analyzer remember we have already talked about quadruple analyzer and in this case uh, in this ESI process the analyzer is slightly bit modified and in this case uh, they usually don't use electron gun instead they use chemical ionization process which are the soft ionization because the actual idea and the goal behind coating this molecule with this droplet structure and all this thing is that to prevent this particular uh, molecule of our interest uh, from being bombarded with other molecules so that it is getting hampered so we don't want our, our molecules to be getting hampered so for that reason we are coating it we are making all these things now after that when it when it is a di so up, this is a molecule after that after heating of electron or any kind of chemical ionization it is getting ionized and what it is producing is simply parent ions or fragment ions and all this and so it can produce this it can produce small different fragments or particles now whatever particles it is produced they remain in different clusters so all of these particles will be coated with all this micro droplets so they are forming micro droplets now these micro droplets will be moved from here to through the analyzer till they hit the detector right now during this movement what we are doing in this case we are simply so in this case if 
this droplet hits the detector. Detector cannot detect anything because it is already coated by other molecules, right? So we need to get rid of this liquid parts. So for get rid of this liquid parts, here in this analyzer section, there are some modifications. Modifications like we simply put different barriers, different chambers. So let's say this is a chamber, this is another chamber. So these kind of chambers are there. And these different chambers, there are different pressure changes. Different pressure changes. Uh, so let me erase this part and write it. Now in this case, what we can see, that suppose in this first chamber, so if this is the chamber number one, in this chamber, the pressure uh, of gas, what kind of gases, like uh, nitrogen gas, and this kind of gas can be there. Now the presence of this gas, as we can see, remember, I've talked about that chemical ionization is possible. If you're using chemical ionization using methane or ammonia, we can use them. Now in this case, uh, the pressure, let's say here it is one torr, in the second one, uh, second chamber, the pressure is, let's say, 10 uh, torr. And the third chamber, the pressure is, say, greater than 50 torr. So what we are causing, we are increasing the pressure, pressure and obviously we are heating in this analyzer. So analyzer is uh, already heated and obviously we are increasing the pressure. So as we are increasing pressure as well as heat, what it is doing, this micro droplet structures are literally losing the liquid part. Because the liquid part is getting evaporated. So that is a very important point. So this lipi, liquid part uh, getting evaporated. Right? So liquid evaporation is going on. After that, when it travels through this analyzer and reach the detector, only the particle remains. So here we'll be having only our particles, small particles, large. So it will take the detector and then we're having the detection of signal. So this is how uh, ESI actually works. Okay, so it's very simple again, but simple modification so that our molecule is not getting hampered, right? So that's it, and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.